what if I lose a job and can't fund deposits? Yeah, uh, life happens. And when it happens, it, it, sometimes it sucks. <laughs> Generally, that's a temporary situation for most people. And so there's, there's a variety of kind of levers that we can pull on. Number one thing you would want to do is you'd, you'd want to call your, your coach, your practitioner, and like let them know what's happened so you or her, him or her know what's happened so that you can actually start that conversation. But number one, you can reduce the overfunding. So that's, that's a first step then you could take a policy loan. That's basically savings that you stored up. So if you need to use your emergency savings, well, that's one of the places where it's stored. You can look at reducing the policy size. That is a one-time change. If you go down, you can't take it back up again. You're making a permanent change, irrevocable on the contract. So, you know, we don't want to do that, but if we have to, it, it can happen. You might also be able to surrender some of those paid up blocks that I, I drew up. That's potentially an option. In the very, very last resort, you know, the, the, the nuclear option is to surrender the policy or, or collapse the policy. When you do that, it's a, it's a huge pain because now if you're uninsurable, well, you're screwed. You know, can't get more insurance. You give up the compound effect. Right? Everything you started building is now just, it, it's just not a good situation. So we always try to avoid that if possible.